Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby, and this is the first series of Mobby vs. Memories. It's gonna be a series where we just talk about random games that I still own, and we can talk about like how they held up in the past, and most importantly, my memories! Because it's so fun to just sit down and be nostalgic about um, games who, you know, games that you spend hours on, and it's just fun to see, you know, what you can muster up, and just stories. So the first game, I'm very excited to talk about this one. It's a Dragon Guard for the PS2. Um, you can see I got this for $34.99. This game is so great. Oh man, so many memories. I have to go back and play this again. Um, you can see in here it was only the game itself and the booklets, which you know for nostalgic sake I went back through it and looked at all that cool stuff. But anyway, this game, I'm gonna set it down right here. Um, it was released in 2004. As you can see, I got it a little bit cheaper, so I probably got it about a year after. Um, made by Square Enix, so you know it has to be at least average, if not above that. Uh, <laughs> and this game was so above that, so good for its time. I have to say that, you know, if you haven't tried it, you have to. It holds up, I know. Um, so, if you guys don't know anything about this game, the story is pretty much set in a medieval fantasy type of thing, of course. And it's very, very dark. Uh, not only the colors, but the story itself and the feel to it. It's really awesome. Uh, so you play as this, you know, this guy here on the cover. His name is Kaim, C-A-I-M. And um, you, okay, basically you just start the game and it puts you right into the action. On the first stage, you're just running around slashing people. Um, think of it as some sort of hack and slash arcade type of thing. So you're Kaim and you're uh, traveling back home to your kingdom. To uh, protect your sister and then when you know you, you blow through all these enemies as soon as you get to the castle because each one of these maps are so large it's amazing and I'll tell you how you know it's easy to traverse it and just go all the way around it's just amazing so uh, let's get my story straight here or actually that story straight so you go to protect your sister but at, when you're about to you get heavily injured and the fantasy part comes in where um, uh, they're taking down a dragon at the same time that they're trying to take you down. So, but the, but the dragon is actually like, you know, crazy mythical creatures who have the power to talk to you and chat. You know, they're very, very intelligent. So you two decide to make a pact, which means, you know, you both um, can pretty much heal up and all that good stuff. But then here's the thing, your life is their life. The dragon dies, you die, you die, the dragon dies. So the dragon's name was Angelus, I believe. I wrote it down here just in case. So yeah, the lives are shared. That's the whole main story. And then you go through everything, um, you know, getting closer to this dragon, because at the beginning, um, you know, Kaim really, really hates this dragon. It's just insane. The dialogue's pretty good for a port. I liked it a lot. It didn't bother me. If, if like, I played a long time ago, and if the if I don't if I don't remember the dialogue being bad, it was probably average. So very good port. What? A pact! There's no other way! <gasps> what makes you worthy of a pact with me? Worthy or not, I wish to live. Despise me if you will, but I shall not die! Your answer! A pact or death! So like I said, action RPG, I think of it as kind of a toned down Dynasty Warrior type of thing. You know how Dynasty Warrior is pretty much super up close to you, almost like the camera's like pretty much almost right behind you and you go slash around hundreds and hundreds of people. This is the same thing, but think about half of it down and the map is big, like super large. Um, it's it's kind of grindy at times, but only grindy if you make it and I will definitely explain why it is in a second. Um, so it's a mix between two different types of stages, the action-y type of ones where you're on the ground and you're uh, slashing people with uh, the different weapons that you collect, and then there's kind of shooter rail segments, and, and, you know, mixed with like, um, I think Star Fox type of thing, battle arenas, where you're riding the dragon, and then you like take down the evil empire stuff and shoot around, like shoot fireballs, it's great. Um, there are just so many memories and so much countless hours of me, you know, sitting at home playing it. 
along with Panda. You guys remember him from Game Area, right? I need to bring him on for more shows. I wanted to actually do some, like, it would have it would have been perfect for him to come here and talk about this with me as well. But whenever I bring up the subject, like, hey, let's do a small little podcast, maybe talk about some video game memories. He's like, eh, because he's not really that type of guy. But honestly, I, I think if we sit down here and you know, have a couple drinks, you know, shit would just be out the window. It would be so much fun to talk about it. But yeah. Um, I played the game a lot with Panda. Um, it's just so fun. Uh, we would take turns just because, like, you know, we get tired, of course, so we take turns and all that stuff. Um, lots of unlockables, lots of exploration, lots of secrets. Um, exploration, like I said, the map is huge on the stages where you're on the ground. But the thing is, you can switch between, you know, running around on your feet, or you can jump up, summon your dragon, and fly around the map, and then drop back down. It's so awesome. And, uh, of course, I'm going to be showing some clips so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. I don't want to show my face the whole time, even though that might be, I don't know, that might be acceptable. I'm going to show some gameplay, right? So, lots of secrets, too. Secrets and um, grinding is what really made this game like super re replayability for us uh, super replayable for us okay so each okay you, you start off with a simple weapon and then you know over time you kill enemies you kill enemies you get experience you yourself as a character does not level up I think I believe that's what I just remember but your weapon your weapon has its own unique level so when you switch out to let's say a whip or something you, you know start from level one you gotta attack enemies and get it up and same with like little daggers you get, broad swords, whatever, what have you, right? You level up. And then when you do level up, not only does the power increase, you get more like combos and you get maybe like a projectile fireball you can shoot out of it. It's really cool. And there are, like I said, the map is really, really large. So there's secrets all over the place. Like if you end up like, like okay, let's say for instance, I remember this for sure, but um, for instance, I think the first or second stage, there's just a huge random dirt field, it's you over here, and then you have to reach all the way to get to the kingdom. You can go off to the side, you know, there's water here, but you can get on your dragon, go on the, go on the side, and there's a small forest. In the small forest, there could be a little patch of grass here, or uh, like surrounded by trees. You, you jump right in, like, oh, what's this giant circle here? There's nothing here, but as soon as you jump in, boom. Boom, out of nowhere. A random, like, skeleton with purple aura pops up. And you have to fight him. Once you fight him, a treasure chest pops up, and boom, you get your first, like, secret weapon. And this could happen on, let's say, like, level 10 or something like that. And once you find the weapon, it's level 1 again. So it makes you go back to, like, the first levels, look for secrets, as well as leveling up this new weapon. So that's why it's grindy, but it's so fun at the same time, because you're learning a new play style, you're getting stronger, you're upgrading your arsenal, and you can switch out weapons at any time. So that's the reason why it was so grindy, you know. And grindy is a sometimes a bad word, but for this one, it's a good type of grindy. I liked it a lot. So um, here's one thing though: um, we never actually beat it because of this very reason. There's just so much because um, we were trying to perfect it and try to get like a high score and all type of stuff. And not only do you level up um, your weapons, I mean, your dragon also levels up. So uh, you have to do those segments again to uh, just get stronger. Oh man, and okay, let's talk about the music for a second. Music is so good. I think th throughout this whole um, actual commentary, I'm going to be putting up uh, different tracks of it. Um, it's a mix between classical and rock. It just blends extremely well. And you know the guys at Square Enix, you know, with their Final Fantasy and like Chrono Trigger. Oh, so good music. It's amazing. So I just had to talk about that for a second. Um, I never got Dragon Guard 2. I just never picked it up. I don't know why. I pick up a lot of games. Dragon Guard 2, not one of those. Number 3 came out a couple months ago. Maybe like, yeah, a couple months ago. And uh, I did not know about it until Panda actually told me, like, hey, Mobby, Dragon Guard 3, man. And I was like, oh, cool. I just wasn't excited because number I haven't played number 2 and we just haven't beat the first one. But if I ever pick up a PS2 again, I still have the games and my PS2 is somewhere hidden between all these boxes and stuff like that. I will definitely, definitely pick it up again. So I don't know if there's anything else I want to talk about. I, I literally sat here and I was like, okay, what do I want to talk about this game? What kind of cool memories? But yeah, um, that's it for the first episode of Mobby vs. Memories. Let me guys, uh, let me know guys. Do you guys want to see more memory episodes? I mean, there's so much, so many games I can just hit, sit here and talk about for hours. And I would love to bring Panda on for a couple of... Um, cameos so if you guys enjoyed leave a like it helps so much if you haven't already hit that subscribe button i upload a lot of daily videos more on the way 
will it be more memory episodes um you guys gotta let me know yes or no otherwise we won't you know i definitely don't want to put up stuff you don't want to see so if you want to see more i'd be more i'd be extremely happy to sit here and chat so thanks for being here and uh dragon guard go try it out i'll see you guys